Hi everyone, so welcome to Amirpet Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, we are going to discuss about who will learn full stack and how to learn full stack. So today, every student attending full stack classes, either it is a Java full stack or .NET full stack or UI full stack. So first of all, so what is full stack? How to learn full stack? And who is eligible to learn full stack course? First of all, using programming languages and technologies, either Java technology or .NET technology or UI technology. Using any technology, we are developing applications. The main purpose of every application is to store and process the data. For example, if you take one banking application, so what is the purpose of banking application? It's very simple. Whenever a customer entered into the bank, whenever customer want to take the account, first of all, they will create one account. After creation of account, what they will do? They will perform all data operations on account. Whenever you withdraw, the balance will decrease. Whenever you deposit, the balance will increase whenever you receive the information uh, whenever you receive the money right your balance will increase so whenever you recharge the balance will decrease whenever you don't want to maintain your account they will delete your information so every application main motto is storing the information and processing the information first of all let me explain how to store the information and what is the process of developing application. See, for example, this is the database. In the database only, we always store information. We are creating the database. Inside the database, we are creating, for example, banking application only I am taking. Here, in this one, we are maintaining the accounts information. In table format, we are maintaining the account information. So how can we, how can we store the information? In record format, nothing but in table format, how can we store the information? Very simple. For that, we have to learn one concept called database management system. Using this application, we can perform all operations on data. All operations. If you want to create the account, if you want to retrieve the details, if you want to update the details, if you don't want, you can delete the details. So simply every application is called CRUD application. So what is that CRUD? Creating the database or creating the tables to store the information, retrieve the information, retrieve, update the details, and delete the information whenever we don't want. But if you want to perform all database operations, for that applications are ready. These applications are called database management system applications. So many applications are there, like Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server and all. But who will learn Oracle and who is eligible to learn SQL Server and all will see. As of now, to perform the data operations, we need to learn database management system. Now, sir, suppose if I learn only database management system, is this enough? Then why people learning Java, .NET, HTML, CSS and JavaScript? If I learn only database, Right, we can perform all database operations. What is the importance of application development? A simple question in every mind. It's a very simple reason. For example, whenever you entered into the bank, bank employees, right, not having the knowledge of database management system. They will not come and learn Oracle. They will not come and learn SQL Server and they will not come and learn MySQL. Simply what all they know just how to open the website. Just consider HDFC Bank. HDFC.com. They will open the browser 
in the browser they will type hdfcbank.com automatically the bank application will open how can we develop that is what client that is the reason we have to learn first how to develop the client system in the client system so what is the client system what is the client system the user interface by which we can easily perform all database operations so how can we develop the client for that three technologies are there which are also called client side technologies are called web technologies so what are those html css and javascript so whatever the developer you are either you are the ui developer or you are the java developer or you are the dotnet developer or python developer everyone first should focus on developing the client system so using that client what we can do first using html i want to create one account as soon as the customer entered into the bank by collecting the details of that customer we are creating the account for example here we are writing create account create account we ask what is the account number we enter the number we enter account holder name and the initial balance in the account we asked we design this form we design this form to design this form what is required html is required with one button called submit button or create button submit button or create button we create this one for that we are creating html so what is the purpose of css using css you can apply some styles to this form background colors right text colors proper alignments border shading everything we can provide using that css concept next what is the purpose of javascript here it is in this application purpose mainly javascript used for client side validations one simple validation for example without giving the details of number name and balance without giving the details of number name and balance if you try to click on the submit button you will get one error message please fill the details you will get the message is please fill the details so that is what javascript javascript will validate and give you the message if you just give only the account number then it will ask please enter the name and balance if you give the name then it will ask enter the balance whenever we are giving that balance also for example initial balance as soon as you submit the button now the back end developer will start the back end developer will start this is called server side programming server how can we develop this server if you are the java developer you will use jsp or spring boot here you should use your java knowledge if you are the dotnet developer you are using asp.net or mvc.net if you are the python developer you have to use that django you have to use that django so whoever either you are the java developer or you are the asp developer or you are the django developer whoever right that client side implementation is common to everyone so first of all you have to design this client system whenever you submit the details then the server side program will get active java developers means jsp code java code you will write here asp means asp syntax django means what python syntax you will write but every server side program will perform the same task only what is the task it will collect the information from html page first point is collect collect input from html page this is the first step next step we have to store this information in the database table so you have to connect with the database so database logic you have to write connect 
connect to database connect to database sir here how can we connect to database management system if you are the java developer you have to learn oracle database and for connectivity we should use the concept called jdbc in the basic level or in the advanced level with the spring boot you will learn data jpa for database connectivity for example if you are the dotnet developer then you will learn sql server all these are performing the same operations only only the names are different and little bit syntactical differences so every full stack developer is doing the same task only that we have to realize at the end of the day so here connecting whenever you are using sql server you have to use that ado.net concept ado.net for example if you are the python developer maybe you will use sqlite or you will use a mysql or you will use any other one for example mongodb and the connectivity so python to database connectivity program you will use this is the second step you will connect with the database management system using the technologies right once connection is ready then you can insert the information just insert insert the data into the database through database management system automatically the details will go and store here it is a number next one is a name third one is a balance the values what we have given here all the three values will go and store here all the three values will store so once it is completed right whether the record inserted successfully or not that result we have to catch what happened whether it is a success case or it is a failure case so that is what get the result get results after getting the results the same results you have to display to the client system so that is what display results to the client display results so what are the results successfully inserted or for any reason failed for example record already present or database is not present or table is not present whatever the reason why it has failed that we have to write so hope you understand whoever the developer nothing but either you are the java developer or you are the python developer or you are the dot net full stack developer all you have to do as a student you have to learn all these things from start to end but where we have to focus much and whenever you entered into the company you will become the back end developer back end developer means what here you have to work these are the technologies you have to learn so if you are the java developer you need to concentrate on first java then jsp and then spring boot if you are the dot net developer first you have to concentrate on c sharp dot net then asp dot net and finally mvc if you are the python developer then first you need to concentrate on core python advanced python concepts then django framework and one technology we need to learn just to connect from server program to the database so this is the complete full stack development okay hope you understood so how to develop the application full stack application and what every developer is doing in companies as a full stack developer hope you realized hope you understood everything thank you all